Okay, in this seg we will be reviewing place value. And so uh, if we'll quickly refer to our notes, once again, you can print these notes. They're located directly above the video that you can simply print those out if you would like to have your own copy of this. What I've done here is to uh, just kind of remind you of the place value system. Starting at the decimal point and going to the left, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and then ten thousands. Of course, it goes on forever to the left hundred thousands, millions, and so on. At the decimal point going to the right, we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, and so on in that direction. But this ought to capture most of the problems that we have. I'll give you an example here. For example, in this case, the hundreds digit is five. This was 501, and so, um, Hundreds digit is five. The tenths digit, one digit to the right of the decimal is six. Ten thousandths is going to be over here, and the three occupies that spot. And so let's go to Alex and see what uh, they give us here for that. And uh, we see here that they want the ones place. Well, once again, we find the decimal point. One to the left of that would be ones place. So there's going to be a six occupying ones place tenths. That's one place to the right of the decimal, so that's going to be zero. Ten thousandths, notice the th ending here, is going to be the fourth digit to the right of the decimal, so let's count one, two, three, four places to the right. The ten thousandths place is an eight. Let's check it. These are decimal place values in Alex statistics.